Hello one and all, my name is Stu Passmore. Today I have a very special shoe review for you today. I have the Ultra Superior 5. That's right, brand new from Ultra. This one retails at 160 Canadian, but the most important thing to note about this shoe is it weighs 251 grams. That's the standard men's size 9. When I popped these on the scale, men's 10 and a half, they came in at 256 grams. We're getting into road running territory here, and these are a pretty serious trail running shoes. Now, who are these for? So Ultra Shoes, their big thing is they have a wider toe box in most of their shoes, and they also run on a zero drop platform, so same uh, height in the heel as in the forefoot. So you're gonna get a more natural barefoot shoe. I really wish the barefoot shoe movement took off. I was always a huge fan of the uh, New Balance Minimus. Before this shoe, I was actually running in its predecessor. I had the Ultra Superior 4s, which were fantastic. But again, not perfect. Like, Ultras come with a lot of drawbacks. They are not uh, very grippy. Like, they're not durable. And I'm not paid reviewer. Like, I gotta pay the sticker price for shoes, so I'm gonna give you the real deal here. So... Instant drawbacks, the grip is not going to last very long, and this, this shoe is not going to be good in muddy conditions. I did a 11 kilometer run this morning on a super technical, rocky, hilly, tons of roots, tons of, uh, you know, different, uh, you know, not a lot of single track, which is probably what this is meant for. This is going to excel with, um, with speed and with more dry terrain, because again, like, these spikes are not super deep. They're probably like four millimeters. So if you're gonna go on like a race, don't take these. These are gonna be more for your like everyday trainers. And don't, like you wouldn't wanna take these on a, a trail marathon or anything like that. I would limit these to probably an hour and a half running tops. And I, halfway through, I kind of regret not running with the uh, stone guard that comes with them. They come with a, like an additional insole that like functions as a rock plate. So it has little spikes on the bottom for grip. And I used them in the Superior 4s and didn't really take them out because I guess I forgot about them. But um, I just really wanted to see how these felt out of the box. And straight away, very comfortable. And the toe off is perfect for me. I went true to size. I went with a 10 and a half. And like you can feel how light they are. It's, it's really unbelievable. You can really you know, place your feet exactly where you need them to be. And I don't really get to choose a lot of different shoes because my feet are like ogre type wide. So even Solomon's offerings where they have like a wide shoe, I can't even run in those because they're so narrow. But yeah, these are these are quite a step up, I think, from the, the fours. They improved a lot. The weight is a bit lighter and the... Uh, the shape of the toe is a little bit wider. So this is a very, very unusual shape. Only Ultra and Topo shoes, are, I believe, are doing this. Mi uh, New Balance Minimus used to have a line where they would have like a... It would be like a barefoot trail. I guess Merrill also has some offerings in this category. But yeah, super light, super fast. But again, they're Ultra, so they're going to be probably too expensive they're not going to be very durable and the grip is going to be not great for all conditions so i always recommend to get another pair of shoes like get a long distance shoe and get a short distance shoe i hate to tell you what to do but like oh another big thing about these ultras is that these are going to be great for like commuting like you could run on roads with these because they are super light and the grip is not like overly aggressive if you have to only get one pair of shoes, you should probably get a pair of trail running shoes because they can function as both. You really can't run trails or hike in running shoes. So, but yeah, I, I, for anything upwards of like 15 K, I would go, I would just take my innovates or get a pair of Salconies or something like that because the grip is going to be a lot better. And in muddy conditions, these aren't going to be your best friends, but you know, overall, I'm super happy with them so far. I'm going to keep running in them. And um, out of 10, I guess I would give them like a probably... It's hard to say, but right now I would give them an 8 out of 10. Because, you know, durability, I just know they're not going to be very durable. 
and like I had the Lone Peak four and a halfs and the Superior fours, and they weren't very durable at all. But they're ultras, so you just you just kind of are forced to buy either this or like one other pair of shoes when you have super wide feet. So, anyways, I'm pretty stoked on them, and you know I'll probably have a little update. I can add it to the comment section below. But again, like if you guys want to keep seeing more reviews for me or uh, running videos, just, um, you know, hit like down below. So until next time, guys, peace out.